To the war in Ukraine now, in a tragic scene in a major city, the Ukrainian government says Russian missiles hit a children's hospital with a maternity ward. And children are said to be in that rubble. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with the latest. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, there's no clear word on deaths or injuries, but there could be many casualties. Ukraine says Russia has been targeting civilians even as they claim to give safe passage to refugees. The horror of war lands in an unthinkable place, a children's hospital. Russian missiles hit Mariupol with no regard for who would feel the full brunt of the devastation. And Ukrainian officials say the bodies of children are buried in the rubble. Rescuers say mothers in the maternity ward had to be evacuated, some said to be in labor. There's absolutely no excuse for this whatsoever. Retired General David Petraeus says this is about a cruel Russian strategy. To depopulate cities, to, to surround them, to starve them, to lay siege to them, uh, again, all of which just is uh, beyond uh, the, the pale completely. Incredibly, the city of Mariupol was supposed to be part of supposedly humanitarian corridors opened by Russia to let refugees escape. But military analysts say it's a cynical plan. They're going to smash every town and city to uh, create this terrible refugee flow, uh, the weaponization of refugees, if you will, to put pressure on the Zelensky government and also on other European governments. Russian troops continue to expand their assault elsewhere. A handout video from the Russian military shows an attack helicopter taking out targets at an undisclosed location. The refugee crisis continues to explode. In the city of Sumy, foreign students were trapped in their dorm, which became a bunker. I'm so glad that it's over, because right now it might I don't know. I don't know what to say because I'm so overwhelmed. I'm going with joy, but and also like with sadness because I don't know what's going to happen. These refugees endured heavy bombardment in their hometown, but made the passage to safety. There were tearful reunions, but for many the agony continues. Some stayed glued to their phones, hoping for word from those left behind. For Elisa and Andre, the best news of all: their boy survived. The only words you can tell to the phone, like "Mom, I'm alive. Mom, I'm alive," and that's it. I'm the happiest mother in the world right now, she says. My son is with me. But not every mother is so lucky, and for them, the wait goes on. Indeed it does. As for other aid, President Biden tweeted out that he's looking to Congress to pass an additional $12 billion in funding to send more humanitarian relief to Ukraine, and they certainly could use it. Christina Maurice. Heartbreaking pictures, yeah. Dick. Thank you.